first thing we're going to do is go to Holly's website. Already got that pulled up here. In the top right corner, you'll hit support. And then fuel injection, HP and dominator. And here is the latest V6 Build 300 software that was released today. So we'll go ahead and click that. It'll start a download of a zip file. I've already got that downloaded and installed, but it's just like any other standard Windows installer. So we'll go ahead and stop that since I already have it installed. We'll go ahead and open it up. So this is going to be the screen that you get on first opening. Now I do have the ignition on on my truck and plugged into the USB. So we'll go ahead and hit download from ECU and we get this error message saying the minimum ECU version to use this software is V6 Build 300. This is the software that you're using. You are currently running ECU firmware version V6 Build 220. This is what is on your ECU. This truck runs a Dominator ECU. So we have to update it. So we'll hit OK. It will pull the tune file out of here and let you view it, but it still will not let you make any changes until you update the firmware. So to update the firmware, we go right here to the right of the sync icon, and you'll go to upgrade firmware. Comes up with this warning screen saying that it will erase the ECU calibration, you know, make sure it's saved and everything. Now the nice thing with V6 build 300 is it will actually save the tune upgrade the firmware and then re-upload the tune, convert it to build 300 for you. So that's where it talks about here, what you want to automatically download and save it. So we'll go ahead and hit yes. It'll download the ECU file as far as the tune that's in the ECU. Go ahead and hit OK. Then this is where it asks what firmware do you want to flash. So this is the newest firmware. It's ready. We'll go ahead and hit OK. It's going to come up saying it's testing it. It's just running some tests on the ECU. It's preparing to talk to the ECU. we go it's updated successful it does give you a note here that you have to cycle your ignition after you load the calibration so we'll go ahead and hit ok this is new would you like to open and then upload the previous downloaded calibration to the ECU we'll go ahead and hit yes it's sending the ECU over and then you hear the fuel pump cycle so we'll go ahead and hit ok at this point you do want to cycle your ignition so I'll go ahead and do that Alrighty, so we've got it all up to date now, and we can double check by going up to here at the help on the left, about Holly EFI, and we're on version 6, build 300. So the biggest news with this update is output tests. So, we go ahead, so we'll go ahead and open this. It does come up with a warning menu here, saying what you do in here may damage things, especially if you have poor wiring or select some wrong settings. So please be conscious of what you're doing here. When you hit OK, you are assuming all reliability. So go ahead and hit OK. It will boot this screen up. What it will start with is this pulsed output setting. The biggest thing to know here is these are some of your outputs in your J1A connector. Fuel pump relay, low current, EST, or TAC out. So you can test a tachometer output. Your spark, these are your coils, injectors, User is your pin map, and then you have system. The biggest thing to see here is what you have. So you have pulsed output settings and on and off settings. So for example, this is my cooling fan. You click on. Cooling fan comes on. First we can take a look at is our spark. Now, if you just come in here, and even if you enter settings, you never want to click on with anything spark or injector. You always want to pulse those. Another note is, if you're doing spark testing or injector testing, you have to turn your fuel pump relay output on. So I'll go ahead and click that on. We'll go to spark. 
And right now I have a spark tester on number two cylinder. And we'll go ahead and put 50 and 50, and we'll do 10 pulses. And we go ahead and click pulse, and you can see the spark tester is lighting up. You would not want to hit on here. So we can switch over to injectors here, and same thing, I have a Noid light on injector number one, just so you can see it. We'll go ahead and hit pulse, and you see it flashing there. Hit it again. This is a great way to make sure everything is wired right, especially on a new build. Through here, we can go over to user. We've already done the cooling fan, just to show how that works. AC shutdown, that is an output I have to, for my vintage air. It's not gonna be able to do inputs because you can see that in live data. This is simply output testing. When you exit out of this, it does go through a reset procedure and you just have to wait a second. Hit okay and it'll let you back out. We do also have this new dashboard that I do like. You can see show values and errors, if there's any errors on anything. You do have to go online for that. So we'll go online, we'll go back to dashboard. And this is all the info the ECU is seeing all in one in a nice, easy to see format that you don't have to go through data logs. Ejector pulse width, target air fuel, after start enrichment, base timing, map sensor, TPS. So this is a quick run through where you don't have to worry about pulling up a gauge panel. A couple other new things here, let me go back offline, is under your target air AFR, you can do a show lambda. This is a conversion if you wanna check yourself. Alrighty guys, well that's everything as far as the new output test on a version six build 300 for Holly HP and Dominator ECUs. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll be about, do my best to try to answer them for you. Y'all have a great night.